this is mainly for my family and friends who uh, have asked how I was and are wondering how I was because I haven't really been on social media uh, all that much and I don't foresee really going back on it for a while. I just have limited energy and so there's no point. You know, it started out a tumor in each lung and then they found two in the brain. Five different doctors saw those. But when they went to go take them out, they weren't there. And so they can't explain it. This was a head wrap that I had to wire for a while. This is Denise. My wife's been with me at every chemo and every doctor's appointment. I know she's tired. When I dig with the tractor, it's got air conditioning. But if you'll notice that little black thing hanging down, that's my oxygen. I also have an emergency inhaler. It kind of, I enjoy messing with my cows and seeing them. And so that's kind of been the hard part, is just doing that. Uh, or not being able to do that as much. The uh, bandana looking thing I had on my head, they screw four screws into this front from this frame, screw this frame into your head. And they actually go a quarter of an inch into your skull. And yes, you can feel the pressure and you can hear them hear the cracking because they're self threading evidently. And about the time you think they're done, they do it again. But uh, they can't explain where the tumors went. And so I've had another MRI after that a month later. The big one's still gone. And the little one showed back up, but they're beginning to say it might be a ghost image. At first they thought that each lung had a tumor and that one of them had went through the piriform sinus and went into the brain. And that made me a 4B. But when that wasn't the case, I was a, a 3B. So that's where we're setting that now on that part. So that's where we're at now. Um, I broke my foot. I know the big toe and I'm thinking the next two. I've got neuropathy real bad and I thought I was on the concrete step. But on the, my front of my foot was on there. And when I stepped down, I fell and it bent my toe straight back. And it broke the joint that joins it to the foot. Uh, i got to go back at the end of the month. They're going to see if it's healing. Um, I get tired easy. I've done done the chemo and I've done done the radiation. And now I'm to the Keytruda. But the thing about it is Keytruda builds up your T-cells. I have cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. So I have a lymphoma, a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in my T-cells. We don't know how long I can do that before it kicks back. I've had three or four sessions so far and every joint in my body just I've got rheumatoid arthritis but this is a different pain um, stay short of breath but I am weaning off oxygen little by little I've learned to take it with me on the tractor after Denise had to rush me some I still sleep with it at night and during the daytime I still plug it up if my breathing gets too bad. Uh, in the heat, you don't breathe. So this heat that we've had has been an ungodly heat. And now it's not as hot, but it's humid. I've noticed that humid's not good. Um, but I mean, all in all, you know, I think I've done all right.
we don't know where the tumors are. I mean, we know where they're at, but size-wise, we don't know what they are now. The 2.8 in the right lung had dropped down to 11 millimeters, and the 5, 6.4, it was 5.8, it grew to 6.4. It was necrotic, or better known as dying. Uh, and the brain thing, that's apparently off the table now. I call it a miracle. They can't explain why they left, only that they did leave. They're saying stroke, maybe, and the others might be, the little one might be a bunch of blood vessels, but I don't know. I don't know much about to know whether a stroke would leave you like that. Um, with a spot in your brain, and then you go to look for it, and you can't find it. Beats me. Uh, I'm taking this as my miracle for the, this lifetime. Um, other than that, I do all right. I get tired easy. It's real hard. I don't go outside. I just and when I have to, I have to go water the donkeys, feed the cows. Because it's dry here now. And, uh, you know, they got to have something to drink too. And something to eat. Um, the donkeys and the sheep, I've been letting forage. Because it's really what they're supposed to be doing. But, you know, I mean, I get a little bruised up here and there. But that's to be expected. Blood thinner plus prednisone equals a lot of bad spots. But uh, I don't know. It's kind of up in the air right now. Mark got real sick, too. And he's not been able to return to work. Me and him were talking the other day. We, we've both been around cows all our lives. And we're both considering selling out now. Um, still go to the garage. And I sit and sand for a little bit until I get tired and I come back in. I probably don't do more than I do. I floated the eggs a while ago to make sure which ones were good, which ones were bad. And then put them in a crate. And uh, I wash dishes now. Um, not allowed to go around the chickens because of the dust and the smell. Maybe that'll change. Because I'd planned on this year hatching out at least a thousand, if not two thousand guineas. And that didn't happen. So, you know, maybe it will in time. The picture of the donkey in the mud, that's my middle daughter. She's an RN. She'd been to work. Took off work, went to a funeral, was coming back home to change, and she called me to tell me about something that happened to her grandma. And I told her, I said, Look, you have to tell me later. Dora's got stuck in the pond. I don't know what the hell she was doing in there, but she's stuck. And I've got to dig her out, or try to. She said, Let me change, and I'll be right back there. So she was instrumental in guiding me where to put the bucket. Uh, to, in, Plus, she would sit there and dig out to find which way her legs were pointed. And happy to say, Dory's just fine now. Um, I told Andy not to expect her to live. I've never pulled in that upon it's lived yet. But Dory's the exception. She's tough. I went to go buy a Jenny, and I wanted a small one. And the woman had the small one, and she had Dora, which was a big one. They had nothing to eat, period. And this woman wrote for some kind of long-eared magazine. And she was like, oh, yeah, I'm an expert at this. They didn't have a blade of grass. They didn't have a leaf on a tree that they could reach. Her bales of hay looked like they'd rolled on the side of the of a trash pit. And she was feeding them hog slop. Even hogs can't eat hog slop for a long time. 
And she was wondering why her chickens were dying. She's feeding him hogs a lot too. Um, you just can't be stupid. But I told her, I said, how much for the fire? She said, she really wouldn't want to step away. I said, how much for the fire? She said, $300. So I talked to Mark to get his four wheel drive picked up and went to a trailer. And back up there and we could get him because it was muddy. And uh, as we were leaving, Mark looked over and he said, You didn't buy new donkeys. You rescued them. I really don't think Dora or Jenny would have lived much longer. But that's neither here nor there. Anyways, you can see, I still sound like old man Jack. Probably always will. That's from the throat cancer. And uh, got my hair cut short and my beard trimmed short because I had to give a speech. They honored Dr. Ron Fassad, who my wife works for, and the one that uh, worked on me both heart attacks. So, you know, I'm kind of a fan. He has no bedside manner, but he's good. He knows his stuff. And, uh, You know, he, he got up after I got done talking, told everybody to go to my website that I had a blog, and I do have a cancer blog. And I uh, also have a, uh, um, near-death experience blog. I don't participate much on it anymore. But, Anyway, it's a lot of stuff up there that people kept asking about a lot of the questions when we was on the biography channel. And uh, it's a lot of questions answered about, you know, stuff that they want to know about. That's it. But as you can see, I'm here. I'm alive. I'm still breathing for now. You know, it's been rough, but I've had worse. All in God's time. So, appreciate all of you that asked about me. And I'm sorry that I didn't get back with each and every one of you. But if you want to keep up a little bit more, you can go to type in my name up there. And then that's the cancer blog, which is there. And this is the Indeed blog. That's about, about it. Um, so take care. God bless. And I'll see you.